Hello everyone, I'm going to go ahead and take an educated guess as to what you ate this morning for breakfast. Chances are, you probably used a toaster to make something. Toasters are appliances we use almost every single day of our lives, but have we ever considered what actually goes on inside a toaster? Personally, I along with many others have uh, used to toasters almost every single day, whether it be to heat up leftover pizza from last night or to just simply toast something. In my speech, I will be discussing the mechanisms of what happened inside the toaster, most prominently the mail art effect, the history and background of toasters, how to practically use toasters, and why using them is much more practical and efficient. Let me tell you about this toaster. The term toast comes from toaster, and it, it's, it originates from the Latin roots terrest and uh, tostum, meaning to burn or scorch. A toaster is an electronic small appliance that was originally created to fit small slices of bread and it would expose these slices of bread to radiant heat which would create toast. Toasters use electrical energy they receive from outlets to begin the toasting process, also known as the Maillard effect. The Maillard effect begins once the, to the toaster reaches a temperature of 310 degrees Celsius. Once it reaches that, the bread inside the toaster starts to break down its sugars and once that happens, the, uh, the bread becomes toast and develops that crispy cr uh, crust that everyone loves. According to a consumer report from the leaders of Black Plus Decker on April 24, 2020, toasters have been one of the reasons that pollution rates have decreased in suburban and urban environments. Since they, uh, since they use electrical energy, fossil fuels aren't being burnt. As a result, Toast, uh, using toasters instead of old-fashioned fires is much more practical and beneficial for the environment. Now, let me tell you about the background and history of toasters. The first electrical toaster was invented in 1893 by Alan McMasters in Scotland. The toaster was invented for more practical purposes, because before the toaster, before the toaster they would have a griddle and they would put the bread on the griddle and there would be fire under it. Once one side was finished toasting, they'd have to flip it over, which was very impractical. Since the introduction of the toaster, you can simply slide in the bread, push the lever, and you'll have toast ready within minutes. As time progressed, toasters have also evolved. Toaster ovens can now actually heat up to 600 degrees Celsius, and in fact, some toasters can actually be controlled with smartphone apps. Let me show you how to use my product. So first, you want to insert the toast into the toaster. You can simply slide it in, just like this. Once it's inserted, you can just push the lever and it will start toasting. Now, there's many things you can do while it's toasting. So for example, you can actually change some of the settings. So if, you're, if, you're, uh, if you simply want to warm something up, you click the warm setting. And you can also adjust the temperature to fit your preferences. So personally, I like it when it's a little bit burnt. So I turn it up all the way. So now, while the bread is toasting, let's go over some interesting facts about toasters. The average household in America spends about 35 hours toasting bread every single year. In 1926, the pop-up toaster, interestingly enough, was used as a common traditional wedding gift. The invention of sliced bread in, 1990, in 1933 actually increased the popularity of toasters because since bread was sliced, now it could easily fit into toasters, which uh, is one of the reasons that toasters became uh, much more practical. Toasters have adapted to toast not only bread, but many other things, such as uh, crumpets and even hot dogs. Now, in some restaurants, uh, some uh, commonly uh, breakfast restaurants, Toast, there are things that exist called toaster belts, and what happens on these toaster belts is that they put the bread on, one, uh, on, on the assembly line, and as the assembly line goes, it toasts the bread one by one, and actually almost a thousand uh, bread is, to uh, is toasted every single hour. So now my bread is pretty much done toasting. Uh, if you keep a mental clock in your head uh, and you adapt your preferences, then you can know when your toast is done toasting. So now simply take it out by pressing the eject button, and now, this is arguably one of the most important steps. You want to be safe when you're taking out your bread since the inside of the toaster is extremely hot. So, you can either use mittens or tongs to do this process. I personally like using tongs because I always don't have mittens accessible to me. I would simply take the tongs, 
grip the bread and simply take it out and put it into the plate. And that's all it takes to simply just toast bread. Toasters have made heating bread and other foods much more efficient. They have helped narrow down the pollution in suburban and urban areas, and they can be personalized based on preference. Without toasters, the practicality of toasting bread would be much different today. Because of the invention of toasters, heating foods has become much more efficient and practical. Next time you toast your bread, make sure to thank your toaster. Thank you for your time.